Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to the video guide here on the Sargent EC600 power supply unit. Now, if you've had a vehicle with an EC400 or 500, then there's not really going to be much of a difference here. It's just a bit more of a modernization and streamlining. So for those that don't know, though, if you haven't had a Sargent unit like this before, this is essentially your electronic management unit. It's going to look after your 12 volt circuits, your mains electrical circuits, as well as handling your battery charger as well. Now, here is where you'll find your 12 volt fuses just there. They are all numbered, as you can see. And then here we have your mains 230 volt RCD and MCB trips. They are labeled at the bottom down here, as you can see. And then what we have is here, um, we have some electrical isolators. We have one for the battery charger and for the heating and hot water system. So these will turn on or off the mains electrical supply to those respective circuits, okay? So without those on, those particular things won't receive mains electrical supply. Now that's quite important to know for your charger because of course, if you're wanting to um, charge your batteries then you need to know that that's on and working, of course. Normally there's not really a reason to play around with these unless you know there is a particular electric fault with those items. Now here we have a reverse polarity warning light which will illuminate in the event you have a polarity issue with your supply. So this is where some where along the line of your electrical supply, the positive and negative has been cross-wired. So that could be due to a faulty lead or a faulty point you're plugging into or something along those lines. And then lastly, there is a system shutdown button here that you will operate under the advice of a technician. Now, this uh, unit does talk to a sergeant control panel, typically, that will be elsewhere on your vehicle for controlling the main functions of your motorhome and uh, that's really it for the guide today there is of course a lot more information on these units so do feel free to read the manuals that are supplied but for just basic operation and knowing what it's for that's covered in this video hopefully for you so uh, that's it and i hope it's been useful i'm sev hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching